Vanessa Garcia is a renowned Cuban-American author who has written everything from children's books to famous nonfiction novels. She speaks about the journey through her writing career and how she's gotten to where she is today. I started my career as a writer. Um, while I went to school for writing, I studied uh, English and art history initially as my BA. Eventually, I ended up getting a master's and then a PhD, but um, I worked right after college for another writer and uh, he was a British writer, and I learned how to live life as a writer. Um, I was his assistant, I did a lot of research for him. I went on a bunch of um, trips like to Bellagio and Ghana and a bunch of places, um, and I, it was invaluable, it was an apprenticeship. So after I uh, stopped working for, for the writer, his name is uh, Carol Phillips, uh, I then started to say, okay, I'm going to uh, just do what I want to do in the sense of no matter what, I, everything that I do is going to be toward my career as a writer. So I took on, I never did a, a nine to five. I did that for some internships and that sort of thing in summers uh, in college. And I decided that I would freelance and it was incredibly hard. <laughs> you, um, I was making $50 an article when I started, which was very little clearly. So I was writing a lot, which also gave me a whole lot of practice and my 10,000 hours came like in you know three seconds uh but so i i and then i started to make goals for myself i said um you know now i'm working toward the goal of i would write whatever i needed to write but then i i would say i want to eventually write what i want to write um so i made that a goal and then it, it sort of went up from there mrs garcia is also the author of the famous novel and production the Ampado experience so the story is about how uh, the, the family, uh, the Arechavalas, made Havana Club Rum in Cuba and took it out of Cuba, how they uh, tried to continue their legacy in the States, um, how they tried to tell their story. And I told the story of the family. And um, there were uh, 27 different ways to see the show. So you could go that many times and see a totally different show every time that you went, even though you would always get the spinal cord experience of the show, which was the center of it. Um, so it was a different way to come to the theater. People had a lot of fun going in and then they were kind of like destroyed going out emotionally. And that's what we, kind of, we wanted them to do. We wanted them to go through the Cuban revolution. The play premiered in 2019 and clips can be found on YouTube. From WBLN, I'm Matthew Barturin.